Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the gospel is truth. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS, Great Millstone, who told us the truth of the gospel of the kingdom. And this video is going to be entitled America, Sodom, and Egypt, or something along those lines, okay? I just want to focus on the, um, what the scripture in Deuteronomy real quick, okay? Because we were taken to uh, Egypt, man, okay? America. Right, America is modern day Egypt, Babylon, and all kinds of names it has, man. The city of um, of uh, confusion. Um, let's see, there's many more names that I don't got all of them in my head at the moment. But anyway, this is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. When did that happen? Remember a few hundred years ago, this, the slaves, which are the children of Israel, they came here to America on cargo slave ships. That's who this is talking about. All right. Remember, this scripture was written thousands of years ago, and that happened a, a few hundred years ago, man. So that proves that the Bible is true. By the way thereof, I spake unto thee, Slakia, I'll, I'll read that part again. And to Egypt again with ships, by the way thereof, I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and thou ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Okay, but the point is, uh, this is talking about America. All right, now let me focus in here on... Uh, right here what's this what is that a pyramid why is there a pyramid on the back of the dollar bill all right because america is modern day egypt okay that's why america's egypt man sodom and egypt all right matter of fact see a little better there america's egypt man all right if that's not so why is there a um uh, pyramid on the bill, man. All right. It's very simple. Why, man? Because America is the new Egypt. All right. And look, remember where it says he shall speak great blasphemy against the Most High? Look right here. It's locked, yeah. Look, in God we trust. All right. What is that talking about? They don't trust in the Most High, they trust in themselves. All right. Now, matter of fact, brings to mind another scripture. I'll move the bill in a second. Let me just put this light up here. All right, there we go. It's like, yeah. Thinking of a few more scriptures I might want to get, so let me get those real quick. It's like, yeah, honey. Uh, this is um this is daniel 7 and 25 and he shall speak great words against the most high and shall swear slucky and shall wear out the saints of the most high and think to change times and laws and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing of times all right but keep in mind it says he shall speak great blasphemy against the most high all right that's why there is that in god we trust trust on the the bill okay and once again it says we will be taken to Egypt. This is America's Egypt, man. All right. Which, you know, really, when you go deeper into this, there's many uh, hidden codes and stuff on the dollar bill. Okay. And many other bills as well. I believe it's on the 10 bill. The $10 bill, they have the um, New York City getting destroyed or something like that. There's, that's on one of the bills. There's, like I said, really all the bills have uh, hidden messages and stuff behind them. All right. Now, I think of one more scripture I want to get. Salaki, bear with me for just a moment. I believe that's an uh, Matter of fact, I'll pause this and be right back for the sake of the uh, time of this video.
All right, Slocky, I found it. This is Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now, somebody's going to say, well, the Lord wasn't crucified in America. Now, you're right. But the Lord was, um, you know, this is talking about spiritually crucified here, man. All right. The Lord was spiritually crucified in America, man, every way possible, man, because this is Babylon the Great. That's the scriptures speak of, man. All right. America's Babylon, not the Vatican. All right. There's no pyramids in the Vatican. Matter of fact, there's a, there's a pyramid. Like, literally, I've seen these before in many places in America. There's buildings that are shaped like pyramids, man. All right. I believe there's one in LA, LA right? There's one in... Uh, uh let's see i don't remember exactly but there's uh there's literally many famous places that are made basically structural structurally made like a a pyramid man but anyway that being said uh shall